What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. I gotta get in the boat right now in search of a rod. We're going in. We've never just gone in under a boat cover. It's actually kind of fun. Feels like you're in a circus back in the day. Grab that for me if you can. With your virtual hands. Okay. Switching gears totally. You know, I just went uh, fishing for big bass. Flare just the other day. Um, still got all that stuff in here. There's a couple of creeks that are not too far away from me. And I just kind of wanted to go check them, see if there's any white bass running up there. That's one of my, my favorite fish to eat in Texas. They're delicious and pretty easy to catch when they're running up the creeks getting ready to spawn. The bass, they go into calm areas and they're looking for a nice hard bottom where they can settle in, get their eggs laid. With white bass and other striper species, they need some current. They need some flow to help fertilize their eggs in the whole process. They all just run up there together and they just have like a, a big thing going on. By the way, new Mondo shirt is available if you would like to pick one up. Support the channel. It's just that old Mondo, the old crusty looking Mondo that's got the old bug eyes and it's been around a few years, you know what I'm saying? I like to catch those big old bass. Anyway, link will be down below if you want to pick one of these sweet babies up. This little creek that I'm going through is not much really. Pretty much every lake, especially a lot of the major lakes that you hear about, they've got uh, bigger creeks that run into them. And if we get rain especially, uh, that can make those fish move up and spawn. Well, give you one guess what that's from. Mm. Should have brought my pistol. Well, the carp are jumping down here. This is so thick, full of freaking hogs. This is just a hog trail. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. Everywhere I've been, I've seen these giant wallers on this trail. Now that I found a couple of shad, I'm just gonna walk down a little bit further. Just see if I can see a little bit more activity. It's always good. See a beer can and a hog wallow. There's just so many hogs out here. I think I'm gonna have to like get a permit and just come down here and hunt. I honestly fear for people's dogs. Hopefully we get some bass out of this though. Okay, this little spot up here is looking pretty good now. Switch it up here to a little lipless finally found some shad that are coming up to the top, which is a good sign. Oh, well, I just stepped off in a giant mud hole. Oh, God. It sucks. Definitely want to wear boots when you're down here. Oh, got one. I got one. Oh, come here, baby. Come on. Here we go. All right, there's a good sign. Yes. Oh man, you slurped it too. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. First fish. Awesome. Hopefully there's a bunch in here. There's a little uh, little bend in the river spot right here. I don't know if there's like a break in the current or something. It might be something holding them here, so. Okay, let's see if we can get another one out here. That one was out in the middle pretty much. I think I just saw some on the other bank like come up together. Well, I see a bass boat coming up here. Just a, Just caught one. good though those guys both stopped right there I'm pretty sure that bass boat came through here and marked them on the graph right where I hooked that one he turned around and he started throwing a top water so that's interesting there we go there's one oh don't get in that tree come here Out in the middle. I 
think I'm going to switch to a little rooster tail. Maybe I'll get a few more on little rooster tail. Okay, that thing just twists up. I hate it. So apparently this thing goes back way farther than what I thought. I'm on the other side now and I'm walking the trail. I just saw a jet ski with a cooler on the back hauling butt all the way up this river, like beyond where I can even see. So that tells me he's going up there to get meat. Either that or he's transporting drugs. Not sure, I didn't really see any rods, but probably had one on there somewhere. I really would like to take my kayak out here or tell LFD to get up here and fit. I don't think he's ever fished up here. He only lives like five miles away. I would say this lure has, uh, this has probably been the best one. And I've got a lot of creek left to explore. Unfortunately, I've come to a dead end where I cannot cross. So I think I may have to come back here. I know a lot of boats went up there. So I think I might have to do a little bit more exploring down here. I think the one spot where I did catch fish on, uh, on the old traps here is because there was like a little eddy right there. It's kind of a special situation. There was a lot of fish right there. There was gar, there was carp. I haven't seen that much activity on the other parts of the river. So I want to come back now. I want to get me a nice healthy sack of white bass and do a little catch and cook. That's always fun for the family. And it's about time for me to go pick up the hog meat from the processor. So let's go see how much we got. Hog meat loaded. And I got my Euro back. And I gotta show you this, this is crazy. Oh man. Ah, oh. We have the meats. Probably got, I'm gonna say each one of these is about 50 pounds. Woo! And OSG has just arrived. Hey babe. What's my hubby doing? Huh? I said, what's my hubby doing? Your hubby is bringing home the bacon. All right. Literally. Best part about it? Can I eat it? Soy free. Yes. All of it. Really? Yeah. The only thing that had soy in it was their jerky, and I got none of that. Oh my god. So I'm excited. I've literally got like over 100 pounds. Good. I have you eat it. Oh, bacon wrapped tenders? Oh, maybe we should yes. have pull some out to have some for tonight. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look, we have, oh my we god. have a whole ham. A talk, whole ham, baby. Talk about feed the baby. That's right. We're, we're going to feed that belly. All right. Yep. <laughs> That's gross. Man, I'm glad I got the big old freezer. Did you find a house? I did. You did? Oh, now here's the good, here's like the breakfast sausage. Oh. That you put in like your eggs. There's a whole dang of it. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Jeez. Literally, this is filling up the freezer. The last one. Wow, look at this. That's full now. I feel as if I've fulfilled my manly duties, feeding my pregnant lady over there. That hog, I remind you, smelled sweet. So I'm interested to see what it tastes like. Now, I've got to show you this uh, Euro mount. It's basically just a skull. Euro mount is a skull mount that's bleached, essentially, because there's something really cool about it. So check this out. So for those of you that did not see the video where I killed this hog, you can go check it out, link in the description or uh, at the end of the video where all the other stuff is. So this right here is the skull of a boar hog. They're an invasive species in Texas, or an invasive species in the United States that came from Europe, but crazy animal, and they have the boars have some really nasty teeth, so I'll just take this apart so you guys can see. That is the business end of a hog right there. They got these tusks, cutters, and they kind of form together to make a nice little cutting unit. This is what hogs use to fight each other. It's not like a pig that you typically see on a farm. They're nasty, they're hairy, and their sides, like right behind their shoulder and right on their shoulder, they're so tough. I mean, it's like elephant skin because they fight each other using these huge teeth and they cut each other. These are super sharp. So they have to develop that super tough skin so they can defend against other boars and whatnot. Originally when I shot this hog, I think I hit it in that really tough shoulder part. It flipped the hog over and I think I got a part of the heart and then the hog was, it was going down. But when I got up on it, 
it was starting to get up and that's when I had to get out my nine millimeter and shoot the hog a few times. So this is the crazy part right here, look at that. That is the bullet hole from my nine millimeter right there. I think that was one of the last shots. And they actually saved the bullets for me that they dug out of the skulls. So I thought that was really neat because it puts a story behind it. You can literally see the bullet hole and then here are the bullets right here. So look at that, look at that right there. You can see that's the nine millimeter caliber mushroomed out, there's three of them. That's, uh, that's Hornady critical defense, so. So that's the whole story right there, all connected together. There is the hog, there's the bullet, went in right there. And we have the rest of it right in here that we're gonna enjoy. Crazy thing about today is walking around and fishing those banks, there were hog wallers everywhere. And I got kind of anxious because I felt like I needed to have my pistol with me just in case, you know. The hogs like to, during the day, they get down in little ditches and creeks and heavy, heavy brush. And you're walking around on game trails and you just pop up on one. And, you know, maybe a sow's got piglets or there's a, just a lone boar and he's not having a good day. There's the potential of you getting stuck by these cutters right here, which I would never want i would never wish on anybody it's really bad so my grandmother when she was a little girl she got super frightened one time she was attacked by hogs she had to climb up in a tree and they were trying to get up and they were like barking and scratching at the tree and whatnot so they're not exactly a friendly animal at times and later on on the trip i ended up seeing some some like walkers and joggers out there uh, and some had like small dogs they were walking out on the trail and i was kind of thinking hmm yeah, I would never do that without a pistol. That is going to do it for today's video, y'all. Again, if you want to check out the old Mondo shirt, link is down in the description. And I appreciate y'all being here for this outdoor day. We got more bass fishing action soon to come. It's going to get really hot, y'all. This is the week where all the nights are going to be in the 50s. That means fishing everywhere is about to kick off down here in Texas and probably in your neck of the woods, wherever you are. So make sure to go get a line wet. Tag me in your Instagram post at Lake Fort Guy. And if you want to check out OSG's blog and vlog, uh, link is down in the description for uh, for all our diet and nutrition stuff and baby life. Till the next video, catch y'all later. See ya.